What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mark Stock Review, video on BitNile stock, what investors should know, and what catalyst to look out for. I'm going to keep this video brief and to the point because I know your time is valuable. All I ask is a thumbs up and to consider subscribing if you haven't already. So that said, let's get right into it. So first off, this is why the share price recently skyrocketed dramatically. BitNile, which is a holding company, is having their subsidiary turn on green, become the subsidiary of their other subsidiary, Imperilous. Imperilous, which is a pink over-the-counter company, will then change its name to Turn On Green. And you have to note, before this all took place, Imperilous had their own subsidiary, Digital Power Corporation. So end result, Imperilous is now going to be called Turn On Green, and they're going to have Digital Power Corporation as their subsidiary. So it is a little confusing, but hopefully now it makes sense. So here's the plan. BitNow shareholders are going to receive shares of Turn On Green, which I'm going to call TOG. But more importantly, BitNow is going to assist TOG in pursuing an uplisting to the NASDAQ to be publicly traded. And so now investors are going to be in both crypto and a publicly traded EV company. And this is why the share price has skyrocketed. Although you do have to remember, it's not quite finalized. And contingencies include number one, an audit of TOG and number two, customary closing conditions. And now moving on to a little info on BitNile. Through their division, BitNile Mining Solutions, they're involved in self-mining Bitcoin via partnerships at their Michigan data center. So far, they've invested $111 million into their Bitcoin mining infrastructure. As of March of this year, their Bitcoin mining expectations are 2,300 miners per month, and they expect soon to be able to mine more than two Bitcoin per day. And now a little bit about Turn On Green. They provide smart EV charging for the home, work, and play. Number one, they provide residential EV chargers, the EV700. It's a plug-in charger at home, which provides up to 200 miles of range in six to eight hours. And as of now, it's compatible with most EVs on the road. And TOG also provides commercial EV chargers, the EV1100 and 2200 also adds up to 200 miles in six to eight hours. These are level two chargers, nine times faster than the level ones. It's for public and commercial properties. And note that it does support Tesla models with an additional connector. And lastly, they have the TOG app, which allows management of the charging station from the smartphone or desktop. And very quickly on Digital Power Corporation, not to be forgotten that this company is also now part of TOG. This company's role is going to be infrastructure, providing flexible power solutions for the following industries. Industrial, defense aerospace, medical, energy storage, telecommunications, and most importantly, the EV market. Okay, and so the next catalyst for this company is going to be approval and confirmation of the NASDAQ exchange and a trade date has been set. The new ticker will likely be TOG after they receive approval and they're compliant with the U.S. federal securities laws. So be looking out for news of the NASDAQ confirmation, ticker, and trade date. And that's when I expect another massive increase in share price. Until then, I expect tons of volatility. And that's it for BitNile stock. As promised, I kept it brief and to the point. Respect your time. All I ask in return is a thumbs up and to consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll have another video out shortly. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care.